When I first saw this new ukulele series announced, I don't mind admitting I got quite excited by it. And now it's here, so keep watching. Yes, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day. The summary video review to the full written review that you'll always find linked below these videos on every review. You get a lot more information about it. All my other stuff on the website, club directory, beginners tips and all that is there too. You'll also see some links below this video and every video where you can do what these people have very kindly done and that's donate, uh, throw a few quid my way to help keep this site going. It's because I don't get paid by the brands or the stores or the makers for doing this they'd just be paid adverts shills grifts uh these are independent reviews so i'm impartial and away from that so thank you very much because these people help keep the site going every week and you can also help by subscribing to the youtube channel you know what to do hit the little bell symbol you'll get notified of new stuff coming your way right a real ukulele review today unlike yesterday uh and this one as i say quite excited about it and the brand is a brand called carla um, now, I've known Carla for all uh, the time I've been playing ukulele. They came along uh, at a time when I started where, unless you were going to spend top dollar and get one of the Hawaiian instruments, you were really having to go to brands like Carla, Ohana, Lanakai. Um, and I really like them. You know, they got so many people on the road to playing ukulele. Uh, I've played a Carla ukulele on stage. But what I have said over the last 15 years is that I've not really seen them develop greatly with one or two exceptions like the elite series and the revelator um generally speaking all carla ukes are the same template the same shape the same narrow nut i always moan about the fact they don't come with gig bags i felt that they've just got a little bit behind the curve compared to more modern brands uh, and we're kind of losing ground basically changes of wood types and that was about it um and i was getting a bit i'm sorry bored by them and then i saw this this is the Carla new Contour Series tenor in the mahogany version. More specifically, the CT SMH TG tenor. Um, and what's the difference? Well, this is the first departure I've seen from Carla with this very modern, swoopy body shape. Think a Nui Nui, think Flight, those kind of people. Really modern, really doesn't look like a Carla. And I'm really pleased to see it because I think Carla have been desperately in need of an update a reboot this new contour series comes in a range of woods acacia spruce top this one all solid mahogany um and they're in tenor and baritone as i say really modern swoopy look that i really like i really really like the look of this let's get into it as i say all solid woods this is all solid mahogany two pieces on the top back and sides hey it's mahogany it's never going to be as striking as the acacia stuff uh, but these are cheaper than the acacia ones but it's not unattractive mahogany some nice grain going on in it nice deep rich chocolatey orangey brown color it's a really classy looking wood it's a really classy looking instrument with this rounded swoopy modern shape that i keep going on about but that's a big departure for carla it's not the only departure with the contour series which is the other reason i got a bit excited about them because there's another departure Gone is the usual tie bar, very, very simple tie bar that Carla put on 99% of their instruments. And we now have this ebony through bridge in this nice, shallow topped, really smooth, finished, um, rounded oval sort of shape. I really like that. It, again, doesn't look like a traditional Carla. Fitted with a bone saddle with a compensated top. That all comes together really nicely. The decor comes together nicely as well. This isn't ostentatious with abalone and stuff like that. We've got rosewood edge binding to the top and back, which is nicely done. And on the top, that extends out into a comfort edge here on the lower bout, which doesn't look like sticking plaster like some of them can. It looks really natural. And I love what they call this eclipse inlay around the sound hole in maple and rosewood, sort of two circles overlapping each other. I think that looks really good too. It's all finished in a gloss, which is really nicely done. It's not thick and over pulled anywhere. Really nice and tidy. Inside, notched linings, thin braces, and a very, very thin top. Very tidy inside there. This is all just great. I, I can't say enough what a departure this is uh, from those traditional looking 
uh, old-fashioned looking traditional Kali Ukes. If this is the departure that they're moving towards, I'd love to see all of their instruments follow this sort of template. I really like that. The neck is made of mahogany. Uh, it's in three pieces. The heel joint is pretty obvious. The headstock is not. It's quite rounded. It's satin. Yay! Not gloss. So a nice smooth satin finish. Um, and another departure in the positive. That's a 37.5mm nut, 30mm from G2A. Normal carlers don't come with nuts like that. That is great. I'm really pleased to see that. That's topped in more uh, ebony. Um, and what you might not be able to see in this light, I think you probably can actually, but look at the pictures on the review. This is my first, I'm sorry, my dogs are going crazy down there. No, they've finished. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, what you may see in the pictures on the review is whoever did the buffing out of the polish on this had a day off on the QC because there's quite a lot of gunk build up around the, uh, the frets. This is a brand new instrument. It's easy to get rid of with some wire wool and a bit of a rubbing, but I shouldn't have to do that, and that's irritated me. It comes with 19 frets, 14 to the body. It's edge-bound in black, so you get no fret sprout, but the dressing is a little sharp. Again, a little bit of a QC fail there. Sorry, Carla, I didn't. I wanted this to be perfect because I really like it. But this neck is a bit scruffy on the facing, and those frets are a little sharp. They're not massively sharp, but I can feel them and that's wrong. There we are. I love the position markers, oval inlays in pearl at five, seven, 10, and a slightly larger one at the 12th. And you get side dots as well. Right, okay, bone nut, uh, no new bone here, which again is normal for Carla. Bone nut set up very good. Uh, the headstock is the divisive one. Some people love them, some people don't like them. I don't mind them on tenor and baritones, just don't like seeing them on concerts or smaller. It's an open frame uh, slot head. Faced in sort of dark wood, whether it's rosewood or mahogany or ebony, I don't know, and in gloss, so it looks very, very classy. I know a lot of people love them and it's very tidy. The Carla logo inlaid in pearl. The tuners are not named, but they look great quality, very akin to the sort of thing you'd see on a flight ukulele in black with some little gold cogs work very well, very good gearing mechanisms. Comes with a set of Aquila strings. Kind of wish they'd sort of, they've been brave with the body, they've been brave with the nut. Go brave with the strings, go for something else, minor point. And a kick bag. How many times do I say Carla are behind the curve by not giving you a padded gig bag? And this is a really good quality one too. Not quite up there with the flight red ones, but not far off. Um, that's really nice, that comes as standard. And the price, um, these aren't in the UK just yet. They're in the USA and Europe. But I saw from a Carla ad that the UK price on this mahogany tenor will be 349. Um, I don't think that's too bad. There are some other Carla solid, regular Carla solids that cost more than that. Some flights will cost you more than that. I think it's about right. I think it's about on the money. It didn't shock me at all. Really nice to see the gig bag with it as well. Uh, three, four, nine, not too bad, I don't think. And I really like the look. I keep saying it's just a really nice departure that I think is well, well overdue for Carla to sort of get a bit modern, get out of the bunker. Um, I think they have done. Nice roomy nut, nice body. It's QC on this fingerboard. It's really irritated me because when I, I was going over it, I'm thinking, I'm liking this, I'm liking that, oh, I like that. And ugh, saw it in the photographs when I took them really needs cleaning. It's just not right for a brand new instrument. Sorry to make a big deal about that. It's not life and death and it's easily fixed, but it says something about their quality control. When these, this came from a big box shipper, not making excuses for Carla, but when these go through specialists, that will get weeded out, but they shouldn't have to weed it out. Um, right, there we are. You can tell I really like it. It's quite a chunky instrument, 685 grams, kind of average in weight balances really nicely. Uh, love that finish, love that finish. <coughs> but we've got to have a play, will it continue to do well? I love mahogany. Very good on the, right through the mids. Not too bright, not too dark, can be a bit woody. I 
and I'm really looking forward to playing it because I really like the roomy fingerboard. Okay, volume. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's not the loudest instrument. Kind of better with the nails. I think brand new. I think the wood is still got to open up. On this. <clears throat> Feels a little bit subdued and laid back. I once reviewed a, a mahogany tenor from Eastman. <coughs> I'm sorry, still getting over the cold. From Eastman, which I thought that about. <coughs> a very sort of laid back, um, not strangled, but just kind of. It's just not that loud, actually. Sustain. Is pretty good. Good sustain. Nice. Pleasant. Check that tuning again, brand new instrument. <coughs> and have a cough. Yeah, it's pleasant. It's got a it, it is down the middle, bit of high, bit of low, but down the middle, very mahogany. Yeah, okay, finger pick. A roomy tenor. That's nice. It is subdued, I think it will open up, I think it just needs to grow a little bit. Um, but the tone is very pleasant, um, very pleasant indeed, very clear, and just kind of warming and comforting tone, I think, which Mahogany quite often does. Hats off, and I'm so glad that they rebooted this shape. I hope this isn't just a one-off and a short run. I hope they start to look at some of their other instruments and start doing that with the nut and start giving you a bag and start making them look a bit more modern because it's 2024 now and I think Carla have been a little bit behind the times for quite some time and that's why this excited me. I love the look of that. It's very well made. The finish is very good. The more I'm looking at that mahogany actually there's some real nice shimmer in it as well. I like the bridge. I like the nut. Bit of a QC issue but be careful where you shop from and get a specialist dealer that will get weeded out. Um, yeah, bang up to date. Uh, the tone, really nice too. Laid back, more of a porch, laid back sort of late night instrument. Maybe string change will beef that up a bit, but certainly I think opening up over time is gonna make it project more. But that's not a complaint, that's not a complaint. It's very, very passable. The Carla Contour series, brand new, not quite yet in the UK. This is the mahogany version, the CT SMH TG. Also available in acacia and spruce. They're all solid wood instruments, solid tenor. Also available in baritones, 349 quid. I don't think that's bad at all. This gets a recommendation. This gets a good score. Well done, Carla. I really enjoyed looking at that one. Right, there we are. 
sorry, cold is still lingering, as you can probably tell. I am back next week. Um, don't know what I've got coming next week. My diary is all over the place, but I've got stuff running booked in now until probably end of March, beginning of April. Really, really busy start to 2024. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your ongoing support. Have a good week ahead in the very cold, snowy weather we are due in the UK, if that's where you are. Uh, look after each other. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.